guys, this is Lisa with Holland Designs Crochet. I am going to be demonstrating some stitches from the Time to Crochet Afghan for you. This was a pattern that I released in 2021, um, but I'm just going to add a little stitch demo video for this to make it easier to follow. This is here a circular motif that I've worked. This is rounds one through three and round four I've almost completed. This one has a long single crochet that is worked into the center. Um, of this motif and you can see that I've done most of the round. I'm just going to demonstrate that stitch for you. So a long single crochet is the same as a regular uh, single crochet except you are simply inserting your hook on a row below or in this case in the center of this motif and then pulling up a loop, yarning over and pulling through the two loops on your hook to complete that long single crochet. So you can see it's to the height of that current round. It's not short or tight so if you worked it too tightly it might make your whole piece curve in so make sure you pull it up nice and loose and nice and to the right height for the height of that round and then I'm just completing this round here of regular single crochets so you can see how that is worked and I've got eight of those long single crochets worked there for that motif okay we're going to begin now with round five we just do something slightly different here when that is we insert underneath the two bars of that long single crochet and we work a slip stitch as so and then we're doing chain chain three and then we do a slip stitch again under the two bars of that long single crochet we're doing that all the way around on this round five so again, underneath those two bars, yarn over, pull up your loop, and then pull it straight through. So it's just a typical chain three, slip stitch under these two bars. So that is how round five is worked. Okay, I've just completed round six, and I'm gonna move on to show you how the beginning of round seven is worked. And so round six has shells, that was they were created and the beginning shell had a chain two to start so as you begin round seven it says to do a chain two and then you're doing a back post double crochet around the post of the beginning chain two directly below which is this one here and so i'll just demonstrate how that's done so back post is from back to front around the post of that chain two and then complete as a regular double crochet so you've just on a back post there and then it'll say do front post around the post of the next double crochet and then it says do a V stitch in the chain one space so a V stitch here is double crochet chain one double crochet front post around the post of the next double crochet And then two back posts, double crochets around the post of the next double crochet. So insert from the back around around to the front and work that back post stitch. And then do the exact same thing around the same post to work the second back post stitch. So you can see how you've got some textures being created by having front and back post alternating. And I'll just do the, the next repetition again here. It, and it's in in parentheses. The repetitions are always in parentheses. It does say here then to go, go ahead and do two back post double crochets around the post of the next double crochet. So we'll do that. One and two. And then you work the two work the front post double crochet around the next one. V stitch in the chain one space of that shell. front post around the next double crochet and two back post double crochets around the next double crochet. So that's the full repetition that I've just demonstrated there for you. I've just lost a bit of my yarn. I'll just redo that second one. Okay, so you can see two completed repetitions on that round. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the beginning of round eight to you. So it begins with the chain two, which I've already done, and then a back post around the next double crochet, back post double crochet. Um, and then we do 
front post, double crochet around the post, the next two double crochets. So we do our front post double crochet there and also around this double crochet, which was part of that V stitch. So basically on each of these rounds, we're increasing our stitch count. Um, as we're continuing and adding in the V stitches each time, we're adding in double crochets. So the next thing we do is the V stitch in the chain one space. And then we front post double crochet around the post of the next two double crochets. So here's our second one. And then the repetition is written so that we are actually doing a back post double crochet around the next four double crochets. So this is our second one and our third and our fourth. So you can see every time you do that back post double crochet, it creates a bit of a rib line at the front and the front post double crochets create that ribbing or that texture there at the, at the front of the work going vertically. So that's beginning of round eight and I'll continue and show you some of the other rounds as well. Okay, this is uh, the motif after the end of round eight. So I'll show you the beginning of round nine. So we begin with chain two, back post around the post of the next double crochet. And then it says to do a front post double crochet two together around the posts of the next two double crochets. So that is a, a front post stitch and it's a, a front post double crochet, so same stitch, but it's a two together. So it's you insert under two stitches and complete as a regular double crochet. So that's a decreased stitch. That is so that the texture that we're creating, the, the leaf or the petal of each of these um, motifs is not continuing to wide, widen. Um, it'll remain the same width. So then it says to do a front post double crochet around the next double crochet and a V stitch in the chain one space. Okay, and then we continue with a front post double crochet. And then again, we do the front post double crochet two together by inserting under two stitches and finishing our front post double crochet there. Okay, and then it says to do back post double crochet around the posts of the next four double crochet. So again, we have four um, back post double crochets at the center there between those raised petals. So that's my third one and my fourth one. So I'll just do that one more time so you can see. Then we continue here with the repetition where we do um, under both, under two stitches here, front post double crochet two together. And then the single front post double crochet, the V stitch. Front post double crochet and the front post double crochet two together, decrease stitch. So you can see how that looks. So if we hadn't done a decrease, we would have ended up with a widening or more stitches here. So we don't want it to widen. We're going to maintain the width of that petal um, as we continue. So that's why that's done. All right, this is the beginning of round 11. And it begins with a chain one, a single crochet in the same space and in the next double crochet. So you have two single crochets to begin. Then we work the textured section, front post two double crochets together, front post double crochet, a V-stitch in the chain one space, front post double crochet around this stitch, and then again the front post double crochet two together around the next two, two posts. And then in this section here, we're skipping two double crochet, we're working a a shell stitch between those sets of stitches there. So you have four double crochets there, but we're working a shell stitch in the middle of those. So you've skipped two and work the shell in the center there. And then we skip the next two double crochets. 
and we continue with the the textured pattern here for the petal with our post stitches and our V stitch so in the pattern as you continue there are repetitions that are um, sort of nested you have as two sets of repetitions and when you see them written the the parentheses always are the innermost portion of that repetition and then the brackets are the outer the outer um, definition of where that repetition is so you read it sort of parentheses and then brackets um, so basically the reason why that's happening in this round is because we're creating a square shape so we get to this part here we're doing four single crochets because this is the side of the square and this shell that we worked earlier, that's going to be a corner. So then as we continue to read the pattern and work the repetitions, we're going to repeat that where we have the textured area is always the same, but the when you in between, it's either going to be single crochets for a side or a shell stitch for a corner. So this is again beginning to shape the square shape. Um, so the final motif will actually be square. Um, so this is how it's done. So we've already had here our, our um, single crochets to start. Then we've had a shell stitch for a corner. Single crochets here. So we know that we're on to our next shell stitch for the second corner of what will end up being a square. So that's just a bit of an explanation of why it's written the way it is and why there's two repetitions there. So just pay attention to that so that when you finish, you have indeed it worked four corners and you have everything correctly uh, set up to continue with the pattern. Okay, this is the beginning of round 13. We start with a chain one, single crochet in same space, single crochet in the next single crochet. Then on this round, we're doing front post, single crochet, two together around the next two. Front post, single crochet around that double crochet. Um, then we're doing chain two, skip that chain one space, front post, single crochet around that double crochet, and front post, single crochet, two together around there. The reason we're doing single crochets here instead of double crochets is we're continuing to create a square and this area is going to be flattened and not as tall. So we're, we're just changing the stitches there. And then we are told to do a chain two and work a chain two shell in this corner chain one space here. So the pattern has special stitch definitions at the beginning for the various types of shells that are used. So some of them are just a chain one shell. Um, this is a chain two shell, which is pointier to create more of a corner there. So then we are doing again our chain two and moving on to the textured petal again with the front post single crochet around those two, a single one, uh, chain two there, skipping our chain one, front post single crochet, uh, front post single crochet two together. And then on this area here, we have the four single crochets. It says to do a single crochet in the next um, two stitches, and then we do a chain two and a single crochet in the next two single crochet. So there's the repetition demonstrated for you on this round. So you can see again, we're continuing to shape a corner and we'll have four of these corners and then four of the flatter areas here with the single crochets and the chain twos. Okay, this is the beginning of round 14. As you can see, we've done rounds one through 13 and then we're starting to create a square shape already. The next um, two rounds, rounds the 14 and 15, will basically com complete the square and it's very much like a granny square. So if you've worked a granny square before you'll understand the same concepts are basically being used so to begin round 14 we are slip stitching in the next three single crochets so we're moving our hook over and then we're also going to slip stitch into that first chain two space so on round 13 we have basically chain two spaces and then corner chain two spaces chain two spaces so four corners and then just regular chain two spaces across the tops of the sides. So we are now doing a chain two, two double crochets in the same space. 
and then we're doing a chain Uh, chain one and then we're doing three double crochets in the next chain two space so this round is basically three double crochets and a chain one and that's just repeated on along all the sides and then when you get to the corners you're doing what's called a three double crochet shell which is three double crochets and a chain one and then three double crochets in the same corner so this is again very much like a granny square concept and all your corners will be worked just that same way with a three double crochet shell and then in between you will just continue with the same chain one three double crochets in the next chain two space chain one, again, three double crochets in the next chain two space. So we just continue that all around the square. And then the next round, round 15 is very much the same. Um, and it will complete the square, complete the uh, very much a granny square type edging. And then there's also some notes in here about if you're going to be joining the squares as you go, I'll just show you quickly the, the pattern here, the image from the pattern you can see here. So the squares are actually joined as you go. So if you've completed your first square, you'll just work rounds one through 15 and then fasten off. Um, if you're creating an, a, a second square, you'll, you'll um, work rounds one through 14. And then on round 15, you'll just basically work um, a joining round. And that's gonna be very much how you do a join as you go granny square, where you just replace the chains with slip stitches at the corners and along the, the sides. So either you'll join along one side or you'll join you know, along two sides as you're joining your squares together. So um, you can find many join as you go granny square type tutorials on YouTube. So um, it's sort of a basic concept. So hopefully the most difficult portions of this pattern, as far as the texture and the stitches um, have been made easier for you now through this demo video. So I'm not gonna show you the remaining finished um, fin finished rounds, rounds 15, 14, 15. So this is a very, very basic, very simple concept. So um, hopefully you'll understand that. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, you know, through email or through Facebook Messenger or something. I'm always around and happy to help anyone who has a question. So hopefully you'll enjoy this pattern. And again, this is the Time to Crochet Afghan, and it's um, available individually and also as part of the 2021 Afghan Club um, that I did and that's available on Ravelry in my Ravelry shop. So um, enjoy! Mm -hmm.